And I also, of course, was thinking, I mean, because how could I not, about the fact that our first black president is biracial. Which right. Which is another right. interesting, right. I think, layer when we all know about the evolution that um, right. Malcolm X underwent. Um, <clears throat> so Katie Couric got ridiculed a couple of months ago when she made a comment that she felt that um, Islam needed its version of the Cosby Show, if you remember this quote, yeah. right? They needed a Muslim version of the Cosby Show <clears throat> to help address the image problem, if you will, that Islam has had in our country, particularly since 9-11. And so I've heard people even make the argument that there are Muslim Americans today who have it tougher in terms of profiling than even black men, right? I've heard that argument made before. So my question is, what do you think Malcolm X would have made of the modern day image of Islam? I'm glad you asked that because in this book, one of the arguments Professor Marable closes out um, by saying that Malcolm represented a bridge to the Muslim world um, because he had, he, they were, Malcolm was part of two important histories. Um, coming out of the Nation of Islam, he was part of this very strong, venerable history of Islam in black America. And then when he traveled abroad, he connected himself to the global history mm -hmm. of Islam, the global, global tradition of Islam. So Malcolm actually represents this really critical intersection between Islam and America. And I think um, he would have represented and would have promoted representations of Islam that, that showcased for black America Islam's long history and its long historical connection to the black community. Um, for Malcolm, Islam, and he writes this in his diary according to Dr. Marable after he makes the Hajj, Islam is our connection to Africa. So Islam was a, a connection to uh, an, an, a renewed sense of identity. Uh, Islam for him framed much of his early politics of protest and finally it was a spiritual tradition I think Malcolm represented all of those things at Islam and those are the kinds of characteristics that I think he would have promoted um, I don't know that he would have seen solutions in symbolic enterprises um, rather like than a uh, like a Cosby show and, and there, there's something to be said about the impact of, of culture um, but there are people who've examined the Cosby show and you know there's the, the this debate about whether or not it helped alleviate racist policies remember while the Cosby show was flying high in the 80s black people are suffering under Reagan Bush so you know there even though it may have opened people up to the possibilities and existence of a black middle class, the black working poor's condition did not change. And Malcolm always focused on the people who were most at the bottom, who would not uh, have benefited from these kind of bourgeois cultural enterprises. Uh, you know, I don't think he would have opposed it, but I think Malcolm's way of promoting a positive image of Islam would have been continuing the tradition of Islam in America as a religion of social justice. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a perfect note to end on. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I appreciate your time. Uh, and I appreciate you being willing to have such a lively discussion. Thank you. I appreciate it. And like I said, continue the debate and conversation around Looking this Looking forward to it. And I look forward to finishing it, too, by the way. <laughs> I'm not great. giving up. So thanks so much. Thank you.